10 years ago, I was a college student with an idea. How could I create a platform that would equip and empower female college journalists worldwide and serve all college women with the type, with the type of content they craved and that I, as a college woman myself, felt was lacking? Months later, her campus was born. Fast forward to today, and my co-founders and I have gone from a trio of 20-year-old college students who once had to Google the meaning of the word RFP live on a client call, <laughs> to 30-year-old business owners and moms overseeing a profitable company of 60 employees who now find ourselves going head-to-head -head with the likes of Facebook, Google, Hearst, and Condé Nast. <laughs> As I've reflected on the company's 10th birthday and what got us here, sure, there are plenty of things we've done right that I could tell you, but none of those was the secret to our success. There's something I heard earlier this year that resonated deeply and stuck with me, and this was it. Businesses don't fail, founders quit. We got to 10 years in business, not so much by doing a ton of things right, but in the simplest terms, we got to 10 years by just not quitting, by choosing to put one foot in front of the other every single day, day after day, for 10 years. And at its core, our success is as simple as that, that at every juncture, no matter how low you may feel or how dire things may seem, you press on. Whether we were so strapped for cash that we had 20 plus employees and not even one payroll in the bank, or a huge deal we had spent months working on painfully fell through, or in one crazy situation, we had a rogue vendor holding our entire set hostage the day before an event that represented hundreds of thousands of dollars with our most important clients. No matter what happened, we didn't quit. And no matter how unovercomable each one may have seemed, sooner or later, each one of these near-death experiences became just a memory that represented important lessons learned but not the nail in the coffin. As I've learned, building a business is a marathon, not a sprint. And more specifically, and even more grueling, it's a marathon with no distinct finish line in sight. Most days aren't the flashy announcements, or the hefty signed contracts, or the momentous awards, or the slam dunk hires. So you need a Herculean endurance not to tap out along the way. Now I know not everyone here is an entrepreneur, but everyone has something they're working towards, a lofty dream that they may not know how they're going to accomplish. And my advice is this. If you get back up every time, if you put one foot in front of the other when that's all you can muster the energy to do, then one day you'll find that whatever that thing is that you're going after, you'll have grabbed it. Because all you have to do, the only thing you have to do, is not quit. Thank you.